Hey, it's Hannah, and today I'll be showing you how to do the very popular magnetic heart design. So I know this has been really difficult to do for a lot of people, myself included, but I finally got it down. So I wanted to give a detailed tutorial so you can easily do it too. I'll be testing different looks, going over the best magnet and tools to use, and we'll also test out if this can be done with regular lacquer and not just gel. I'll be starting off with making our little wire sculpture. Usually this is done with a paper clip or you can use galvanized steel wire, which is what paper clips are typically made out of. You can find this wire at your local hardware store. I got the one that is 20 gauge, which I think is the perfect thickness. You can see it's really bendable, which makes it easy to work with. If you're going the paperclip route, you want to try to find them without a coating. A lot of them have a coating like you see here. You can remove it, but it's just kind of annoying. The effect can still be done with coated paper clips, but I feel like it just works better without. Next, I recommend having a little tool set with pliers and wire cutters. I'm going to link everything I use in the video, so be sure to check that out if you need to grab anything. So for the paper clip, I'm going to start by taking it apart and straightening it as much as possible. Now bend it in half and crisscross the ends and grab them with the pliers so you can twist. You want to make sure you don't twist too many times, so I'm going to do it about two to three. Now bend at the bottom of where the twists end. Now use the wire cutters to shorten the ends and create a small V. And now we have our heart tool. I'll be doing the same thing with the galvanized wire. I'm cutting about three inches off. This was also a lot easier to bend than the paper clip since it's a thinner gauge. I'm adding another little twist to tighten it up and I'm going to shape the V on this one to be a little more angled to see if there's a difference in the design. You want to make sure the twisted part has a slight downward curve. So here are the two that I made for comparison. I could have definitely shortened the bottom of the first one by a lot, but we're just gonna go with it. All right, now for which magnets to use, I have pretty much all the basic ones that come with magnetic polishes, but the one that worked the absolute best is actually an industrial magnet I randomly ran across. I grabbed these on Amazon and they come in a pack of six. They are super strong as you can see and you can connect them together. You probably only need one, but I like connecting two just because in my mind that means extra magnetic power. I'm going to attach the wire to the magnet like so and also move the magnet just a tad down. When you go in for the design, make sure you're not at a downward angle like this. You want to lay the wire flat, but at a slight upward angle so the magnet is just under the nail. I find highly pigmented magnetics to be best, but this will work with just about any magnetic gel polish. I grabbed a few just to test out the differences, and there also are a few ways you can achieve the heart. The first way is to apply one layer of polish and then use the magnet to remove the shimmer, then cure. Now apply the second layer and create the velvet effect. The velvet look is done by holding the magnet or also just moving it around on each side of the nail and tip until it forms. Now place your wire over the nail. I'm going to leave most of this in real time because we can go through my thought process together. I think it might be helpful. This was the first time I tried it on my own nail, not just a fake nail. The heart formed, but it wasn't as refined as I wanted, so I went back in and that's when it got a lot better. I was just kind of testing things out and wiggling it around and then I removed it and went back in again and finally got the shape that I wanted. Remember to remove the magnet quickly away from the nail so you don't mess up the shape and then cure right after. And now we have this super cute heart. I also wanted to try with the smaller wire to see the difference and I immediately noticed it was more reactive. This could be just because I already got the hang of it at this point, but I also think it's because of the size and the twists are more even. The shape is also different. The heart is a bit more round and I guess a little cuter. And remember you want the magnet at the slightest upward angle just under the nail, which makes such a big difference when making these hearts. So now I'm going to try with a different polish. I'm going to apply one layer and not magnetize, just cure, and then go in with a second layer and create the velvet effect. Another thing to remember is to shape the V to be a good size for your nail. I know my thumb is bigger and then my pinky is super small, so I would probably make a separate one for my pinky. This polish has a silkier finish, so you can see there's a difference from the previous one that has more shimmer. I really like the effect this one gives too. And of course, for our experimental purposes, here it is with the smaller wire. You can definitely just leave it like this if you want, but I'm going to do something extra and apply another heart to the middle of the magnetized one, making sure not to cover the outline. And then I'll use the magnet to make it velvet. 
This is just a really fun little added effect, a slightly different way you can do this design. All right, so I really wanted to see what would happen over a black base. I'm applying a layer of a silky magnetic shade, then magnetizing to create the velvet effect. And again, be sure to check the description for everything I used in this video. For this one, I'm just using the smaller wire because I do prefer it over the other one after all these tests. I was shocked with how quickly the heart formed. This could be because of the formula or the contrast over the black, but I really love this look. It really makes the heart glow and pop. I would recommend creating a wire like the smaller one because it's easier to use and more effective. All right, so let's see if this works with regular magnetic polish. I am going in with a generous second layer. I was happy that the heart started to form, but the issue is you have to hold it here until the polish dries, which can be a bit hard. I tried to hold it as still as possible, but even so my hand does move a little. The heart is sort of there, just not very defined. I thought maybe I needed a polish with more pigment, so I tried again with a different one, kind of the same result. There's a heart there, just not as defined as if you were to use gel. Another thing is you also have to hold the wire over the nail after applying top coat, since top coat can loosen the magnetic effect. I recommend sticking with gel if you have that option. It's just a lot easier with much better results. All right, everybody, that's it for this video. I really hope this will help you to achieve your own magnetic hearts. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you later.